I think about four girls came up to me and I kissed them like while my friend was getting drinks. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bad. I hope my wife doesn't watch this video. So I was like really feeling myself because all these girls came up to me and I was dancing. I was like, yay. Hi, sweeties. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Julia and I am a gay lady. <laughs> and nowadays I'm very happily married to my lovely wife, Eileen. But back in the day, when I was a single girl out in the world, I, it rhymed. <gasps> I used to go on a lot of dates and I, you know, I went out with quite a few ladies and I, I've got some stories from that time. <laughs> and I asked you on Instagram if you wanted to see a shoe collection video or a story time about my dating past and everybody wanted to see the story time because y'all like some gossip and some gay drama. So we are here. For the tea, I'm gonna tell you <laughs> about the time when I lied on the first date and then because of that I got caught up on a web of lies and uh, I went down that rabbit hole and uh, it wasn't pretty. A lot of my previous story times have been about other people who have done me wrong and things like that but this time I was the bad one in the story. But I am gonna put this story out there so you can learn from my past mistakes and not make the same mistakes yourself. And so you can laugh at me as well, because it's it's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, crrr. so before we start, please subscribe and activate the notifications so you know when I post a new video. I am trying my best to post two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. Fingers crossed if my depression allows me to. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> also follow me on Instagram for amazing stories and reels and photos. They are totally gonna change your life. And give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Let me just tell you, I've been doing my makeup and my wig and my nails and my ensemble <laughs> for like five hours. I'm not even joking. I'm, I am very slow. But like, I, no, I didn't dye my hair. This is a wig, if you couldn't tell. I think you could tell, but... Yeah, look at my makeup. I mean, I, I need to show it off because it took me so long to do it. Yes, makeup, makeup, makeup. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you before I start the story because I'm not sure in which order things are going to be posted. I'm not sure if there are going to be like other videos that you're going to see before this, but I'm filming this on a Wednesday and yesterday was Tuesday, obviously. And yesterday I posted a video opening up about my depression and mental health and all that. And uh, the support was just overwhelming in, in the best way possible. It was amazing. I mean, I always knew y'all were awesome, but you managed to surprise me again with like such compassion and love. And I am just so... So grateful for having you in my life. You're amazing. You're, oh my God, you're everything. You're the reason I wake up in the morning. You're the reason why I do this. I love you so much and I appreciate it so much. This is literally a dream come true. When I was younger, I used to dream of having this many friends and uh, having this platform and everything and being able to share this with you. So, oh my God, you're amazing. And because of all your amazing like support and comments, I, I'm feeling actually a lot better today. And I am in a very good mood. I haven't been in such a good mood in a long time, you know. Obviously, you know, I'm still going, <laughs> I'm still going through it. But you guys really helped it really helped me feel more motivated and I went to the gym today, I've answered all my emails, I've been productive, so I am, I did my makeup, it took me five hours, but I did it. <laughs> now I'm filming a video right now, so thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm rambling, I'm sorry if you just clicked on this video for the story time, I'm sorry about all that, but I just really, really wanted to thank you. Oh, so let's get to the story. Yes. 
So, many, many, many years ago, when I was a single girl, I used to go to the gay clubs here in London a lot. <laughs> I still go clubbing sometimes with my friends. I mean, not so much now because of the pandemic, but I think it's okay to go clubbing and do these kind of things, even if you have a partner, you know, if that's the agreement you have with your partner. Anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> but I used to go clubbing a lot more often, and I would always like hit up the gay scene here in London. There are three major gay clubs, in my opinion, here in London. There are like the best ones. If you're a London gay, you will know. <laughs> there's Heaven, there's G-A-Y Late, which is my favorite because they have glittery walls and they play like the pop divas and they have screens with the, the music videos playing. It's amazing and very, very camp, so like right up my alley. And there's she, there is the lesbian bar, which is really, really cool too, because it's a lesbian bar slash club, but it's like a lot smaller and not as camp. <laughs> so my favorite has always been G.A.Y. Late because it's just sparkly and uh, very camp. There aren't as many ladies. I think there are usually more gay men than ladies, but the club itself, was always my favorite and it's a, it's just a great vibe in my opinion. My friends all hate it <laughs> but, but G.A. Wiley was always my favorite. I'm just saying that so you can like paint a picture in your head. So one evening me and one other friend were gonna go to G.A. late because I convinced her. She probably wanted to go somewhere else but I was like please let's go there. So we decided that before going there we would get together at her place. She lived in like shared accommodation somewhere with a few flatmates and uh, we would get ready together. So we would do each other's makeup and try on outfits and obviously get a little bit drunk before going out. <laughs> Cause it, I mean, it's England, that's what we do. So I went to her house and uh, we were having a fabulous time. I put on kind of like a gothy outfit. At that time in my life, I was a little bit less colorful. I would wear a lot of black and like very dark makeup. And uh, I was, I wouldn't say I was goth, but I was, you know, a little bit gothier and like more spooky than I am nowadays. <laughs> so I was wearing something like that, I looked like a sexy vampire or, you know, at least that was the look I was going for. And um, me and my friend were getting pretty lit. <laughs> we were getting quite hammered and uh, somehow we... <laughs> We got talking about the names we wish we had instead of our actual names. And I was talking about how I wanted a more glamorous name. Because, I mean, Julia is nice, but it's, it's kind of basic, right? I wish my name was Scarlet or Crystal or, I don't know, like a drag queen name. That's the kind of name I wish I had. <laughs> and I was saying that to my friend. So then, while we were drinking and talking about names, we had the brilliant idea <laughs> to change our names for the night, just for fun. <laughs> so we would actually like stick to our like fake name for the night, and if anyone spoke to us, we would tell them our fake names, and it, it sounded more fun when we were drunk. <laughs> but it would be like a funny thing, because it would be like this secret, and only we would know, and we'd be like, hee hee hee, they actually think my name is... Scarlet or whatever. <laughs> so we proceeded to trying to figure out what our names for the night would be. And uh, for me, I always really liked Scarlet. So I said, oh, I think my name is gonna be Scarlet. But then my friend was like, oh, no one is ever gonna believe your name is actually Scarlet. So then I said, oh, how about Ruby? Ruby is nice because it's it's also red, like, like Scarlet, and it's a precious stone. I've always been like very into precious stones and things like that, crystals. Well, I'm more into crystals nowadays, but anyway, I, I said, oh, Ruby is a good compromise because it sounds a little bit more real. Like, I don't think people are gonna like clock me straight away. We decided to go with Ruby. <laughs> so we left the house, we took the bus <laughs> and we got to the club. And G.A.Y. Late is the kind of club that gets really, really packed and you always have to line up outside unless, you know, you know someone or something. But we, we weren't that cool. So we were just lining up outside for a very long time. And um, while we were lining up, we were drinking even more, as you do. 
at least here in, in London, that's, that's usually what people do. You drink while you're lining up, you know, to get into the club. Then we finally got in there and it was amazing. The vibe was great. Like I was saying, like the walls are purple and glittery and there are all these screens with like Britney Spears music videos and the music is all like early 2000s type of thing. And there are these little platforms where you can step on and like dance above other people like you're performing and it's uh, it's just fabulous. So me and my friend, we were like so lit and so ready to go that we stepped on one of these platforms and we were dancing together like, you know, just vibing and we were a little higher up than everybody else and just putting on a show. <laughs> It was so much fun. And then my friend said she was gonna go grab some drinks at the bar. And uh, I said, okay, great, see you in a minute. And I uh, imagine I would never do that if I was sober. I would just go with my friend because I'm shy. But because I was like feeling super confident because I was a little drunk, I just stayed there on that platform like above everybody else and carried on like dancing and serving glamour. <laughs> alone on this platform just like you know really going for it like Britney Spears choreography and the whole thing and in those like 10 minutes that my friend was lining up at the bar so many girls came up to me it was really bizarre because like I think that's the only time in my life I remember something like that happening to me I'm not usually like very smooth or anything like and um, girls usually think I'm strange because I'm girly as f that's not something that happened to me a lot. I was pretty shocked. I don't know if it was the vampire outfit or if it was because I was dancing on this platform, but honestly, I think about four girls came up to me and I kissed them like while my friend was getting drinks. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bad. I hope my wife doesn't watch this video. I mean, it was so long ago, but <laughs> oh my God. So I was like really feeling myself because all these girls came up to me and I was dancing. I was like, yay. I was feeling like Shane from the L word. And that was the only time in my life I felt like that. <laughs> but anyway, the fourth girl I kissed was this short girl. And um, I think she was Latina and she had long very very long wavy brown hair and uh, she was stunning and uh, quite short which I, I usually prefer women that are a little bit shorter than me just so I can feel tall <laughs> just being 100% honest and uh, after we kissed unlike the other ones she didn't just go do her own thing she carried on like hugging me and uh, putting her arm around me and stuff and dancing with me and uh, it was cute, it was cute. I thought, you know, it was nice and I obviously thought she was nice looking and pleasant or I wouldn't have kissed her. And my friend came back from the bar and she had our drinks and she was like, oh, could that. <laughs> so while me and this girl, let's give her a name. I actually don't remember her real name. <laughs> I am feeling like Shane from the L word. Let's call her Dana, because we're, we're going with the L word theme, so Dana. So while I was dancing with Dana and kissing her and everything, she asked, you know, right? You know what she asked me. She asked my name. <laughs> and I was committed to telling people my, my fake name, but because I was so wasted, I couldn't remember what name we had decided on. So I was like, oh my god, it's a precious stone. It's a precious stone. What is it? What is it? <laughs> and and I had to think fast, right? Because you can't like be thinking about your name when someone asks you, or it doesn't it doesn't seem real. You have to answer straight away. So I was like, ah, Jade. <laughs> so I said my name was Jade when I actually had agreed with my friend that my fake name was supposed to be Ruby. Because I mixed up the names of the precious stones in my drunkenness. So I was like, oh, Jade. Or maybe it was because I was gonna say Julia and then I just remembered and I was like, Jade. I don't know, but I I said my name was Jade. And um, Dana was like, oh, wow, that's such a nice name. I love it, Jade, blah, 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 Jade, Jade, Jade. <laughs> 
Then about an hour later, I think we decided to go back home and I was gonna go to my friend's house and sleep over because that's just what we did. But I decided to take Dana with me to my flatmate's house because, you know, you know. <laughs> so we left the club and then me, my friend and Dana were walking to like a quieter road so we could order an Uber. And then while we were walking to this other road, my my friend called me Ruby and I was like oh my god I forgot to tell her my real well my real fake name is Jade not Ruby <laughs> but I looked at Dana and uh, she didn't seem bothered she it didn't she didn't seem like she heard it I she, it didn't seem like she noticed so I was like okay we're good we're good maybe she doesn't even remember that I said my name is Jade or maybe she didn't even hear that my friend called me Ruby so stupid <laughs> so silly so we just carry on walking and we ordered the uber and at that time i think ubers were still a pretty like new thing i think people weren't that used to getting them and a lot of the drivers were new it was a little bit of a different experience it wasn't that natural as it is now but i kid you not when the Ah! When this Uber driver arrived, I don't know if we didn't see him or what happened, but he parked like 10 meters away from us and we didn't see him, but he poked his head out of the window and I kid you not, he shouted, hey, is this Julia? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yes, it's me, it's me, because I wasn't, good. I wasn't about to you know, lose my Uber over that. <sighs> and then I look over to Dana and uh, she doesn't seem bothered. She, it doesn't seem like she noticed it or anything. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know, maybe she, she just doesn't remember my name in the first place, so she doesn't even know. Maybe she thinks my friend's name is Julia. Who knows? Then when we arrived at my friend's house, it was like probably three or four in the morning and uh, we thought, her flatmates would be asleep but as soon as we open the door one of my friend's roommates screams well she didn't scream but she said it loudly hi julia you're back <laughs> I, I obviously replied because it's just natural when someone says your name you're like oh hi uh, but then like a few seconds later i was like oh damn oh damn dana heard my real name again but she still didn't seem bothered about it. She didn't ask, oh, is your name Julia, Jade or Ruby? So that I was like, I guess she's just not paying too much attention. She's not too bothered about my name or whatever. So me, my friend and Dana were just talking for a little bit, but we were pretty tired and we decided to go to sleep. And uh, at that point, I think Dana actually decided to take an Uber and go back to her place. I'm not sure if it was because there wasn't enough space for her to sleep or because she thought something was gonna happen, but it didn't because I was so tired and wasted. Uh, I don't know, but I just know that after being at my friend's for a little bit, Dana left. And I thought that was gonna be the last I would see of Dana, so I wasn't even thinking about the name thing, I wasn't thinking about anything, so yeah, I was chill. <laughs> However, <laughs> the next morning, when I wake up, I see that there's a lovely text on my phone from Dana saying, Hi Jade! Ah! Comma. Thank you so much for a lovely evening. I would love to see you again. Uh, I mean, I don't think it was so formal, but it was something along those lines. And uh, basically she asked me out for dinner on like a proper date and she called me Jade. So at that point I was like, whoa. Well, I was happy cause like I was being asked on a date, but I was also like, oh my God, she still thinks my name is Jade. Even though she heard people calling me different names a few times. So I didn't know what to make of it. Like, was she testing me? That's what I was thinking. Oh my God, is she testing me? Should I say something now? But for some reason I decided to just go with it. I think I didn't want to upset her or seem like an idiot because how do you even explain that? So I decided that I would go on the date and then at some point, you know, if the date was going well and if we thought we were going to see each other again, 
I would tell her, oh, by the way, my name isn't Jade, my name is Julia, and explain the whole story, and hopefully she would find it funny and let it go. So fast forward a couple of days, it was finally the evening of our date, and uh, we went to a restaurant at the mall. <laughs> well, I don't even know if it was like a restaurant restaurant, or if it was just, you know, in the food court, probably just the food, the food court. Anyway, we, we went out for dinner at the mall. So I got there and I saw her and uh, she looked really cute. She said hi and we hugged and everything and uh, we sat down to eat and uh, she was actually a really cool person. She was very, very intelligent and she was studying physics or something like that at uni. She was like super cool and she was telling me all these things and we were having like some great conversations and I really got caught up in the conversations and I completely forgot that she didn't know my real name. <laughs> so after dinner the date was going so well and you know when you get that feeling that you kind of wanted to last a little bit longer so I'm not sure if it was me or her but one of us suggested for us to go to the cinema seeing as we were at the mall anyway. So we went up to the cinema area and we went to one of those machines where you can buy your ticket like yourself, you know, without talking to a person, you just type all the information in. So we chose a movie and everything and uh, I said, oh, don't worry about it, I'll, I'll get the tickets, you know, I'm a gentle lady. So I was typing in my information on this cinema ticket machine and the machine asked for my name, so I typed in, you know, Julia Zell, blah blah blah, and as I finished writing my name, I realized, I remembered that my name was supposed to be Jade and I wrote Julia and then I look <laughs> to my left and I see that Dana was looking at the screen. But then she didn't say anything! Ah! But I was mortified because she definitely saw it. And at that point, you know, we were together for hours already and we were having like this whole date thing. I almost felt like I left it too long. I should have told her before our date or at the beginning of our date. But like we were halfway through our date and I didn't tell her. And now she saw me write my real name on the thing. <gasps> ah, so embarrassing. So I was mortified and I didn't say anything. And we just went to the, the screen, you know, room thingy where you watch the movie. And uh, we just sat there <laughs> watching the movie like quietly. We didn't touch, we didn't kiss anything. And uh, it was so awkward. It was so awkward because I... It, usually when you're on a date and it's going well and you go to the cinema, it, it's because you want to kiss, right? We, we all think like that, right? It's not just me, right? But we didn't kiss, we didn't hold hands, nothing. And then after the movie ended, we both just went our separate ways and said bye, <laughs> we didn't kiss goodbye, didn't hold hands, nothing, nothing, nothing. Ouch! And then a couple of days later, no, I think it was the next day, yeah. The next day I get a message from Dana saying, hey, you're a lovely person, we had a great time, but I think you agree with me that there just wasn't a spark. awful when people say that. I mean, I think people always say that when they just didn't like you or are upset with something that you did, but they just, you know, don't want to talk about it. They just want to be polite. So, yeah, she said there wasn't a spark. And uh, I, I mean, maybe there just wasn't a spark for real, but part of me thinks that I blew it because of the name thing. She probably thought, oh my god, what a huge red flag. This, this girl is lying about her name. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she must have thought I was like in a gang or something. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. She must have really thought I was up to no good. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Or maybe, maybe it's just in my head and she didn't even notice that my name wasn't Jade and there actually wasn't a spark. And she didn't notice because she wasn't interested because there wasn't a spark. I'd rather believe <laughs> that it was the name thing that put her off. Because, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm joking. You know, I'm joking, right? So, moral of the story, just 
try not to lie to people <laughs> because you might get into silly situations like this and then a small lie can turn into like a bigger, more embarrassing lie. Thank God I didn't carry on seeing her. Imagine if we became girlfriend and girlfriend and she still didn't know my real name. <laughs> that would have been like really dramatic. Thank God that didn't happen. So yeah, don't lie about your names. <laughs> that was my story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to post more story times like this, I have so many about like crazy dates that didn't go well <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to film that. I love filming story times. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for your love and support and thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very lovely day. Mwah!